Yeah. Hello and welcome to Media Milwaukee's election coverage the day after. Um, it is uh, around 10.15 on the day after an election and uh, we're just polling around asking people what their reactions are about the election with our new president, Donald Trump. So sir, um, what's your immediate reaction now that um, or after the election is done? Um, I'm pretty shocked because I never thought like a non-politician would be president. I never thought Donald Trump would actually get this far. So I actually don't know where we're heading as like a country. So were you exactly expecting the opposite? It kind of sounds like it, but just went to clarify. Yeah, I was expecting Hillary to win. Um, so um, I guess who did you vote for and why? Um, I voted for Hillary because, again, she's a politician and I guess I don't want somebody who who wasn't a politician to be his president who doesn't know exactly what he's getting into, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Um, so what are your expect uh, expectations for the future now that we America's decided that Donald Trump's the president? I honestly have no clue. So I have no clue what what's going to happen, where we're going, and yeah, I guess we're going to have to see this next four years. All right, so now we have a uh, another person here. Um, so um, the first question is, uh, what's your immediate reaction after the election? I'm honestly pretty scared. Um, as an LGBT student, um, I kind of face like a lot of things that Trump and Pence have said uh, honestly really scare me. Yes. Um, so who did you vote for and why? I voted for Hillary because just the prospect of a Trump presidency like really scared me at the time mm -hmm. and still does. Has the reality kind of set in yet? Uh, yeah, and I, I honestly just don't know what to do. I'm kind of just dumbfounded. I didn't think that this was going to happen at all. And then, um, so what are your um, expectations for the future? I honestly don't know. Um, with a uh, Republican-controlled Congress and Trump winning the presidency and so many Supreme Court uh, seats up for nomination, I honestly don't know what's going to happen. Kind of empty on campus today, given the... Um, whether it's people stayed up late to watch the coverage or they just need to find the energy to wake up, if you will. And so it looks like we might have another another person here, looks like. Um, yeah, so it seems like we've talked to two Hillary supporters so far and they're both kind of seem a little shocked at the results here. Um, excuse me, do you have a quick question to talk about the election? Nope. Nope, all right. Sure. All right. Well, so it looks like we got someone right away. Um, so, what's, tell us what's your immediate reaction after the election? Uh, my immediate reaction was honestly um, a little bit of shock. Um, but I woke up this morning, the sun came up, and as long as you believe in what you believe, you can't lose. So, you know, it doesn't matter who's in office. If you know, we as Americans see something wrong and we're we're positive about it, we can create change on our own. Right. Um, so who did you uh, vote for and why? I voted for Hillary because she was the lesser of two evils. Um, it's not who I wanted to vote for. I, uh, I had a lot of regrets about voting for her, but uh, that's what I had to do. Right. Um, so what are your expectations for the future? My expectations for the future, well, I do think that there's going to be a lot of change because Donald Trump's going to have the chance to appoint a few Supreme Court justices. So I think things like gay marriage and the Affordable Care Act and um, the fight for 15 is, you know, are going to cease to exist. Um, so yeah. How important is the, are, are the appointments to the Supreme Court, in your opinion? Uh, that's the most important thing about this election. Uh, those people literally control the law of the land. So, um, so that that was a huge point in my my voting, uh, my choice to vote for who I voted for. All right. So it looks like we have another um, <laughs> another person willing to talk here, given the scarcity of students on campus. So, um, just the first off, uh, what's your immediate reaction after the election? Um, I was like very shocked and upset, but can't. Not much I can do about it, so it's out of my hands. I voted, I did my part, so it's kind of upsetting. Right, 
Um, so who did you vote for and why? I voted for Hillary Clinton because um, I've, <laughs> I have a lot of reasons. Um, I just, I don't always like, It's okay, take your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. No problem. Um, well, I voted for Hillary because uh, I just didn't like the other option. Um, I don't really support what Trump's about or for. Um, and uh, just not my favorite guy. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so what are your expectations for the future? Um, my expectations for the future, I think that we're going to, there's going to be some sort of war. There's going to be some sort of conflict coming up. I think that this is really sad and really upsetting because we have a man in our office who gets upset when someone says something mean about him, like tweets something mean about him. And we gave nuclear codes to this man. So I don't know, it's just a little bit scary. So a lot of uh, shocked feelings here on campus. It seems to be the common theme around some of them. And oh, and we have another one here. Um, so uh, just uh, your immediate reaction after the election? Immediate reaction, I think it was a, uh, I don't know, a bit of a surprise. But I mean, obviously, the majority of the people voted for him. So he'll take the presidency. Fair enough. Um, so who did you vote for and I why? Voted, I voted for Donald Trump. Because I see the cases being brought up against him with the groping and the possible sexism as misdemeanors compared to Hillary Clinton's mishandling of Benghazi and her email scandals. Right. So you're the um, the first Trump supporter we talked we spoke to. Um, does it feel any different? I guess being on a college campus. I mean, we've talked to I believe like three Hillary supporters so far. Um, what do you mean? Does it feel different? Like, does the atmosphere feel different in terms of, like, d discussing beliefs, things like that? Oh, no, I don't think it's much different. And I honestly don't think that, I mean, he, he'll take the presidency, but I don't think as much is going to change as people think, so. Interesting. Um, so, um, I guess, what are your expectations for the future with um, Trump as the presidency and then the Republican Congress? Um, expectations for future, I'd just like to see economic growth and I'd like to see Trump tone it down a little bit you know mm -hmm. sort of put a damper on his mouth I didn't really care for either of the candidates mm -hmm. so it was sort of lesser of the two evil kind of things um, last question I, uh, what is uh, what was your main reason for voting out for voting today or yesterday if you will? found it was my civic duty and so we found our first Trump supporter here on campus. Uh, so far, I believe we had uh, three, three to one so far. And um, so that's all the time we have for our post-election coverage. We'll catch you next time.